Good morning. Today is September 30th, 2022, and today's topic is called the good night. And this is kind of hard to believe, but this night over here, uh, in here, this night over here is the good night. Back, kind of backward night over here. And it's actually a good night. Anyway, I'm going to have uh, three puzzles for you to do today. This is the first one. So, uh, black has just moved to move the knight to e7. What should I do? Second puzzle. The queen has just moved to g7. What should I do? Last puzzle, the rook has just moved to c2. What should I do? All right, let's begin. Now, the opening is nothing special over here. So I'm just going to go through it really quickly. Of her here, I'm playing white. Uh, this is actually what I usually do. So somebody's playing my kind of opening right here. It's called the Owen defense. So if you want to, you can look it up. I actually do not know too many openings. Somebody asked me how I play, and I answered. I just push the pieces out and see where they go. So. That's what I do mostly, most of the time. I don't have any good planning whatsoever. Yeah, this is like daring the queen to attack me right here over here. So very provocative way to do things. And obviously black declines to do so. Castle, that's a good move over there. Uh, usually what happens is uh, the opponent would stubbornly castle here anyway and I will have a, a good time doing the pawn, the pawn st uh, storm over there, pa pawn rush over here. So usually that's what happens, but this guy is actually pretty good. He's a 1400, so he, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, anyway, next move. Trying to crack open the places over here. And yes, he does know what he's doing. Absolutely. So I have to go back because that one's too good. So now this is a good position over here. Notice that there's not a, no pawn over here. So the only way to dislodge this pawn is with minor pieces here and uh, excuse me, here and here. They're going to lose because this pawn is cutting that pawn. So you have to attack this with this pawn over here. And I can just easily do it like this one over here. So this is a very good move. Uh, pawn structure is very important in chess. It basically defines the speed of the pieces. Like how fast can you go to this place to another, from one place to another. And as you can see, here is pretty much locked into that position over there and cannot do anything. So this is very good move. Even though the evaluation pretty much equal, this is actually a very good long-term move. Anyway, next move. This is a mistake. I probably should have done a bit more aggressively rather than this one over here. The knight can take the pawn and then it bishop takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, and the pawn cannot take the bishop over there because otherwise rook takes rook. Check. So, yeah, so that's 
a bad thing over here. So this is probably a mistake right there. Anyway, next move. And black missed it, so I'm okay. Put put the rook and price over here. Next move. Harassing the rook. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. This is kind of like aggressive uh, movement over here. So in the, in the end, black has a uh, control of this file over here and that's probably not good for me next move but they must just attack the position over here <coughs> notice if you will the position this is a best pawn there's a rook behind the pawn so I want to push the pawn all the way to this square right here I have uh, two bishops over here, very strong. Uh, my weakness is basically this point over here. This needs to be protected from the knight. And the fact that this rook is being split and I have to connect the rooks. So, so my two moves are basically castle and push this point up over here. So, next move. And black just need a counter attack basically that's task number one collecting the rook then uh, counter attack and this is the puzzle number one over here black has just counter attack over there and what happened is well I cannot basically just move the bishop because the queen will be taken right so the answer to the puzzle would be to cut the bishop with the pawn that's it so next move and that's a very solid position and this is the beginning of the knight domination Notice you can the evaluation becomes four. Before there was two, but soon as the knight goes into the play, it becomes four. That's move number one. Move number two becomes five. Number three and four becomes six. And this is Puzzle number two over here, and suddenly it's plus ten. So suddenly it becomes totally devastating uh, for white. So this this is the good night over here. So very strong, very strong. Move. It's it's a good game. Except. I made a mistake, obviously. Well, it's not a mistake, it's an inaccuracy. I still win with plus four, but it's not a totally devastating move over there. What I should have done is basically I should have done it right here. Uh, so, so the queen attacking the king and then attacking the queen. So that's what I should have done. I didn't do that. I did this one. All right. So, next move. This will cause the pawn to be taken because attack twice, defended once. So, that's probably a mistake, but I really don't see any way for me to defend this thing over here properly. So, I cannot give up on that one. Take, take. And plan A has failed. The, the pawn, the, the plan to push the pawn up to promotion has failed. The good thing about it is that I now have plan B, which is to push this pawn to promotion to that square of way. So that's plan B. Notice that the bishop over here 
is backward. My net is in advanced position, so I still have initiative. It may not be plus 10 or plus 4, but still plus 3, so it's still a good thing to do. So this is plan B right here. Push the pawn to promotion. Next move. Basically lock the bishop into that square over there. Cannot do anything. Uh, okay, and now I did the second part, which is cutting this pawn over there. So that took a while, huh? It, it was way back up there, and that, that this should have been done, but now I do it. All right. And of course, there's this rook that can harass my king, but well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Next move. Attack twice, defended once. However, this there is a, an exception to that because there is this discovered check over here. So as soon as the king, as soon as the knight takes the bishop over here, it's discovered check. So I get basically bishop for a pawn. So this black does not trade with that one. So do something else. All right. Very obvious. Very obvious move. It's, it's not even a question. And guarding the square over here. This may not be a necessary thing to do. It's very interesting because, you know, I basically put knight into a square that where it's guarded by two pieces, but black cannot take the knight because it's a double check over there. So the king has to move. So it looks dangerous, but it's very safe. And that's the point of my doing it over there. Because suddenly I just fuck the pieces over here. Unfortunately, it's not really that dangerous for black because black can move, you know, the bishop, move the rook and then move the bishop and it's safe. At this point in time, I spent some time trying to figure out how to capture this bishop because basically all the squares are guarded. So if I can threaten this part over here, push the pawn over here to there, like this one over here, the bishop would be lost. I would win the promotion. I couldn't figure it out though. So next move. Just push it and trade the pawn for the bishop, which could have been done earlier, as you can imagine. When the bishop was there, the knight was there, and the pawn was here. Could have been done earlier, but didn't happen then. Well, it has to be done that way. So anyway, I'm still winning. Still five points ahead. So next move. And I decided not to take that pawn over there because I don't want to lose this pawn over here. So I want to keep the pawn to be intact as long as possible. So move it. And then black is really good. 1400. Really good. Push the pawn over there. And this is puzzle number three. What should I do? I decided to push the pawn over here. And that's, this is plus seven, and suddenly it's plus three. So that's a mistake, really. I'm kind of hoping like maybe got and pass on over here because he's, he's been so good, right? So, so I'm kind of hoping that he would do that. And I would win, but that's not what he did. And yep, that, that pawn is gone. I cannot save that pawn anymore, so 
So this point push over here is a mistake, mistake right there. So anyway, next move. And this is very clever on my part over here. Very clever on my part. Because there's a tactical trick to it. It's not too immediately apparent over here. But I know that once the rook takes that pawn, where would the, where would the rook go? So I discovered a little tactical trick over here. Like this is a question, right? Uh, like, what happen if, what happen if the rook would take the pawn? Where would the rook go after that? Because then the king will go there, obviously. So that's a tactical shot over there, and that's where the rook goes. And that's why I put the, the knight over there, because check, king moved there, check, fork the rook. Fuck the king and the rook. And at this point, black resign. Good game. Good game. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.